Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Arsenal interested in summer transfer for Fulham defender with Mikel Arteta connection and then we're going to look at Arsenal and Liverpool transfer boost as Brighton prepare for Eva Basuma exits. So the first transfer headline states that Arsenal interested in summer transfer for Fulham defender with Mikel Arteta connection. So the reports are stating that the Gunners have expressed an interest in a centre-back that Mikel Arteta knows from his time with Manchester City. Arsenal are interested in signing Fulham defender Tosin Adrabayo in the summer transfer window, according to reports. The 23-year-old is open to leaving Fulham after they were relegated from the Premier League and the Gunners are one of the clubs reportedly considering a move. Fulham are braced for an exodus this summer with several players set to leave Craven Cottage after the demotion to the championship was confirmed last week. Scott Parker's side is made up of many low knees, with Ola Aina, Joachim Anderson, Maria Lemina, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Adamola Lookman and Alphonse Areola all only with the club temporarily. Scott Parker's future at the club is also far from certain, with the former midfielder links with the Tottenham job following the exits of Jose Mourinho last month. The vultures are ready to descend on the cottagers who will be forced to rebuild in their attempts to achieve promotion back to the Premier League at the first attempt. Anderson, who is on loan from Lyon, looks likely to seal a permanent transfer this summer. With Tottenham, and Arsenal reportedly ready to go head-to-head -head for his signature. Leon are thought to value the Danish international at around £20 million, two years after the 24-year-old joined the French club in a £21.6 million deal from Sampdoria. Adrabayo has now also emerged as a possible tar transfer target this summer, with Athletic reporting that Arsenal and Newcastle United have expressed an interest in his services. The centre-back joined Fulham from Manchester City in October for an initial fee of £1.5 million, rising to £2 million with add-ons. The deal includes a 20% sell-on clause for Manchester City, while he also thought to have a buyout clause in his Fulham contract. Arsenal's interest is thought to stem from manager Mick Lasseter, who worked with Adrabayo during his time at Manchester City. Although Adrabayo only made 10 appearances for City and spent two seasons on loan with West Brom and Blackburn Rovers, the report states that Miklos Setter knows the 6 foot 5 inches centre back very well. Before joining Arsenal as manager in December 2019, the 39 year old worked as an assistant to Pep Guardiola at City for three years. Adrabayo has made 32 appearances for Fulham this season, forming an impressive partnership with Anderson. Although Fulham haven't improved enough to avoid the drop, their young, inexperienced defence has caught the eye of scouts from rival clubs. Arsenal are reportedly on the lookout for a new centre-back, with David Luiz set to leave the club when his contract expires next month. So it looks like Arsenal is interested in this Fulham defender, I have to wait and see if this Tossim Adrabayo transfer pans out. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news, which states that Arsenal Liverpool transfer boost as Brighton prepare for Eva Basuma exits. So the reports are stating that Brighton are preparing a battle to keep midfielder Eva Basuma this summer with Liverpool and Arsenal among those interested in striking a deal. Eva Basuma has been linked with a £40 million summer move away from the Seagulls this summer amid growing interest from two of the Premier League's top sides. The Marley International has been a standout performer for Brighton this campaign and has impressed and surprised victories against the likes of Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur. Liverpool and Arsenal have emerged as the two most likely sides to secure his services this summer, with Jurgen Klopp searching for a Jorginho Wijnaldum replacement and Mikel Arteta plotting a rebuild at the Emirates Stadium. The Seagulls may well be reluctant to sell their star man, but a recent report has suggested that the Seagulls are planning for life after Eva Basuma and have already begun the process of identifying targets. It's just nice that our players have taken a step forward. It's nice for Eva that he is taking a step forward. You never know anything in football these days. But from his perspective, I think he's happy here. He wants to help the team, so we are quite relaxed about everything. Should Liverpool secure a top 4 finish, this could prove to be a deciding factor as to where 
the Brighton midfielder ends up. Former Reds forward John Barnes has backed his old club to make a move for the 24-year-old as he explained why Eva Basuma would settle in quickly at Anfield. Eva Basuma has the ability to play at a team like Liverpool, said John Barnes. He could feel what Jurgen Klopp wants from the three midfield players. He is strong defensively, he works hard, he plays the ball quickly and every now and then when he needs to dribble, as much as we don't speak about Brighton, you know he can do it. So it looks like Arsenal and Liverpool do have a transfer boost in terms of trying to sign Eva Basuma as it looks like Brighton are already preparing for Eva Basuma's exit. And with Arsenal facing tough competition with Liverpool, with Liverpool very close to getting into the Champions League places and Arsenal still not in doubt on whether they get into European football, there's a tough battle between Arsenal and Liverpool on who deserves to get Eva Basuma at the club. He is valued at £30 million, so it's a suitable and reasonable price for both teams to achieve. But in terms of Eva Basuma, he is someone that has previously admitted that he's an Arsenal fan. He's even stated that he will choose Arsenal over any other club in the Premier League. So those are huge statements to be made by Eva Basuma. But in my opinion, you can make those statements at that time. But right now, would you play for Arsenal? Would you play for Liverpool? For me, I would definitely choose Liverpool over Arsenal any day. Because why we build into a team that is struggling? We don't know if the owner is going to stay here. We don't know if the manager is going to stay here. Everything at Arsenal is just a shambles. But in terms of Eva Basuma, one thing that you will get at Arsenal is the fact that you'll have more games than you'll have at Liverpool. With the likes of Thiago, Fabinho, all probably ahead of Eva Basuma. But we have to wait and see how Arsenal are going to fear in the transfer window. Are they going to be bold? Are they going to be brave? Or are they going to be like every season where they just struggle to make a deal and pretty much have poor signings at the end? So we have to wait and see how this pans out. But other than that, guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.